how to continue on with placing graphics. I'm gonna go to chapter four, folder number two, manual graphics placing. I'll open file number one here. And we just have one little graphics frame. So I have determined by moving this where I want my photo to be, kind of land it right in the center of the page, and I want it to be about this big. All I have to do is when I select the box, I'm basically telling InDesign to keep it in these boundaries. Command D for a document. Chapter four, folder two, and I will pick this photo right here. Melody Mess. I'll open it and it automatically fills from the upper left corner. So again, be aware that sometimes if you draw a box or a frame smaller than the photo, you're gonna be cutting off parts of that photo. Let's see how big the actual photo really is. So I'm gonna click outside and without drawing a box, I'll hit Command D for a document, take the photo again, and this time I'm just gonna click. So that photo is a lot bigger than the original. If I move this down, and kind of line it up with that upper left corner, you can see how much of that photo is missing from the bottom, how much of that photo is missing off the side. That's why she shows up way down in the corner. There's a lot more to that photo than we can see. Okay, so what you can do is click here, and if I go to the bottom right corner and double click on it, it will automatically expand to the outer edges of the photo. Let me do that again. Command Z, Command Z. This was the original box I put the photo in. The photo's too big. See if I click this, uh, this center, there's the bottom right corner. That's how big my photo is. So if I go on the frame, let's click outside, click once and then double click the bottom right corner, click, click, it expands to capture the entire photo. Okay, the only other problem though is if I wanted this photo to just be a little smaller, if I just click and drag, it's gonna crop the photo. It's not actually gonna make it smaller. Okay, so what I can do is double click the bottom right, we'll put it back. If you want to resize the box and what's in that box, you have to hold Command and Shift. Okay, when I click and drag smaller and then I let go of the mouse, I can see the result. But the problem is, I have to let go of the mouse to see the result. So I'm gonna to go to edit, undo. And if I wanna see this in real time, InDesign has a one second delay. What that means is you press and hold on the bottom right for a second. Now hold command and shift. And now when you drag, well darn it, still not gonna do it. There is a progression to this. Okay, so I'll go to undo. What I have to do is hold Command and Shift first. Now I press and hold for a second, and now when I move my mouse, I can see a preview as I go. That takes the guesswork out of it. So now I can see if that still holds up or I need to go a little bit bigger. Okay, so you have to select your photo, hold Command and Shift, then press and hold on the corner for a second and you get your live preview. Okay, I'm gonna delete that and let's do another one here. Um, I'm gonna hit Command D for a document and we have this Illustrator file. Okay, but I wanna show you what this Illustrator file is made up of. So I'm gonna come into Adobe Illustrator here and let's just resize that to get inside my demo here. Put that right on top. Okay, I'll go to File and Open. And on my desktop, I'm gonna go to my InDesign tutorials for chapter four, folder number two, and I have this Illustrator file. Multiple silhouettes. Well, how can it be multiple? I only see one. 
Okay, what I did on this Illustrator file is I did five artboards. And I took these little silhouettes that I found online, uh, these different characters, little characters with guns, little anime figures. But I have five different silhouettes, so keep that in mind. I'm going to close up Illustrator there, click on InDesign to come back here. And now let's try to bring those in. Command D for a document. Well, if I click here, it says multiple silhouettes. I can only see one. If I click the arrow, let's say if we can get the girl with the umbrella. I click open. Click. Nope. Nothing to do with the girl with the umbrella. It's still this one. Okay. Maybe I want the third or the fourth silhouette. But it's only going to give me the first one from the first artboard. So I'm going to hit Command D for a document. And when I know that my original file had multiple photos or multiple pages or artboards, I can click Show Import Options. Now when I click Open, it's going to say, hey, we recognize you got multiple pages here. Which page are you trying to bring in? Page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, or page 5? Well, maybe I want page 4. Now I click OK. Now I click, and there's my silhouette for that fourth one. Okay, I'm going to click that and delete. Uh, let's see if we can bring in all five. Command D, click show my import options and total pages I, here we go all pages so now are all artboards so now when i click okay let's see what i got one two three four five there we go when you know what you're dealing with from illustrator you know how to bring it into indesign Okay, the only other thing I would caution you about is when you're done using that show import options button, clear out the page, hit command D and turn this off because otherwise you're going to keep getting that window for everything else you do beyond this point. Now when I click, open, click, okay, but you can bring in multiple pages if you know the show import options, which you do now, so now you're going to be even better at working in InDesign.